As Charles and Queen Camilla arrived in Paris for the start of their three-day state visit to France, they were greeted by King cries from balconies. Before exchanging gifts and having talks with French President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace ahead of a lavish state dinner later this evening, the king smiled and waved to the cheering crowds as they strolled through the streets of Paris. The baby Voyager Airbus plane carried Charles and Camilla on their private chartered flight from Farnborough to Paris Orly Airport, where they were formally welcomed by Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne on behalf of President Macron and the French government. Charles and Camilla arrived just before 2 p.m. James Cleverly, the Foreign Secretary, Dame Mena Rawlings, the UK's ambassador to France, and Helene Trihudichin, the French ambassador to the UK, all welcomed them. Camilla stood out in a stylish dusky pink will crepe coat dress by Fiona Clare and a pink beret-shaped hat by hatmaker Philip Tracy, which she clutched closely due to windy conditions as they strolled over a red carpet that had been perfectly combed earlier. The President Macron, 45, and his wife Bridget, 70, welcomed the royals and drove them in the state Bentley to the Arc de Triomphe for a ceremony of commemoration and wreath laying at the famous monument. In contrast to Camilla, who was dressed more professionally in a navy blazer and a short blue skirt with heels, Bridget Macron gave the king and queen a tiny bow before giving Camilla a warm kiss on each cheek. The queen then repeatedly attempted to keep her hat in place, as President Macron was then spotted laughing with her. Following the posting of a heartfelt video homage to the British monarch earlier on their social media accounts, President Macron and his wife, Madame Macron, cordially welcomed their guests. The movie featured Charles visiting France throughout the years. You came as a prince, now you come as a king, it said. Hello, your majesty. As the president and king laid the wreath, the air forces of their respective countries flew majestically over the well-known Parisian monument. The president asked Charles to ceremoniously ignite the monument's perpetual flame, which burns in honor of those who lost their lives in the First and Second World Wars, as part of the event. Before going to the black tie reception at the Palace of Versailles, where he and Queen Camilla will be accompanied by Sir Mick Jagger, the king will meet with the president. Before His Majesty was accompanied by the president to examine the soldiers, a military band comprised of the regimental band of the Garde Republicaine, the French color part, and the Tri-Service Guard of Honor played the British and French national anthems. The queen was chatting animatedly with Madame Macron in the background. The King and President Macron arrived at the plateau, the centerpiece of the Arc de Triomphe, following the guard inspection, and they paused before the tomb of the unknown soldier. Before jointly laying a wreath in honor of those who lost their lives in the First and Second World Wars, the two men kneeled in prayer before the war memorial's eternal flame. The King tucked a handwritten letter with the words in everlasting remembrance in both English and French into the bouquet of white and red roses. Following the lighting, the bugle call AUX Mortes, which is French for to the dead and means to the dead, was played, followed by a minute of silence. The Patrouille de France and the Red Arrows performed a breathtaking flypast over the Champ Elysees before La Marseillaise, the French national anthem, was played. The Livre d'Or, or Golden Book, was then made available for Charles and Camilla to autograph as a memento of their visit at the President's invitation.